What is going on, everyone? Shake and Bake 2355 here. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to some more Oakland A's franchise. Today we have the month of June recap in the series. Every month I like to go over, at the end of every month, I like to go over the stats, standings, league leaders, injury report, all that good stuff. So let's start right off with the standings. We are currently 43 and 41 on the season, two games over 500. Six and a half games back of the division lead. The Astros are in first at 50 and 35. And the Angels are six games ahead of us. They're right outside of first. But we are still very much in the hunt for the division title. Um, and then in terms of the wild card, we are actually only two and a half games back. With the Angels in our division ahead of us. And then the Orioles... Uh, Angels obviously were six games back of them, but the Orioles were only two and a half back of them. We are fighting off with the Blue Jays. Basically, we're very much intertwined in the playoff hunt right now. So, we're going to play it that way. You know, if we're this still in it at the deadline, we're not going to trade away people. We're probably going to try to acquire and uh, try to make playoffs. Kind of want to keep this series as realistic as we possibly can. Um, injury report. No one really on there. Kendall Graveman's still on there. And then we have a minor league uh, relief pitcher who's going to be on for a few more days. But he comes off, I think, within a couple days after uh, this recording. So on to league leaders now. Only have a few. Marcus Simeon, 7th in the AL in doubles for us with 21. He's been on quite the tear in the month of June. And then on the pitching side of things... Liam Hendricks, since taking over as closer in May, has been killing it. 19 saves in two months. Good for fifth in the AL. And then Andrew Triggs, our opening day starter, showing us why. Sitting at third in the American League with a 3.03 ERA. And then his home runs allowed. He is tied for 12th with nine. So having a very good year for us. A little bit unexpected, if I do say so. Um, on to players of the month for the month of June. Clayton Kershaw gets NL Pitcher of the Month with a 1.43 ERA. Freddie Freeman is the Player of the Month. Hit 4.25 over 80 at bat. 7 homers, 23 dingers. And then Cubs outfielder Jose Castillo is the Rookie of the Month in the NL. Under the AL, a bunch of Astros. Ken Giles gets Pitcher of the Month with 12 saves and an ERA under 1. George Springer is the player of the month. He hit 321 and 84 at bats, 13 dingers, 28 RBIs. And then the rookie shortstop, M. Sierra, hit 313 with a couple home runs and 32 at bats to win the American League Rookie of the Month for the month of June. So, on to our player stats. Andrew Triggs, like I said, 303 ERA. He's uh, six wins on the year. Sean Manaya, 381 ERA, 4 and 6. Still got the ERA under a 4, but we'd like him to be a little better. Daniel Mangdon, 3.79 ERA, 6-8, 72 Ks. Just under 100 innings pitched. He's doing, I think, what we expect of him. Chris Bassett, 421, 5-5. Five five, 60 Ks over 77 innings since he got called up. Brett Anderson, 3-5-2 ERA. We're probably going to be calling up uh, one of our minor league pitchers. Peter Blackburn here within the next month. So one of these guys is probably going to get sent down or moved over to the bullpen. Haven't decided yet. So they're right now they're pitching for the job. So hopefully they can turn things around in the month of July. He's Merrill Petit. 275 ERA for a 6-2. Over 75 innings pitch. He's got a lot of work out of the bullpen. And is pitching pretty well. Daniel Colombe. 331 ERA. 32 and two-thirds. Blake Trennan, 237, has been pitching a lot better since we moved him out of the closer position. Emilio Pagan, he just came off the DL. Uh, we had to make a roster move, which you'll see. Well, I guess we already did it on here, uh, but I'll show you that in a little bit. And then Ryan Butcher, not having a great season, so we're actually going to move him out of the setup role and give Trennan a shot there since he has been pitching well. Um, that way, so it's kind of like having two closers at the back end of your bullpen, and then of course Liam Hendricks, absolutely killing it with that 148 ERA, 33 strikeouts over 42 and two thirds, 19 saves, 
Probably would have more, but like I said, did not take over as a closer till May. So on to the batting lineup, 270, Marcus Simeon hitting out of the leadoff role. Piscotti, 276, 9 homers, 27 RBIs. Jed Lauer, 247, 8 and 41. Good enough for the team lead. Chris Davis, not having the greatest year, hitting 241, 8 homers, 30 RBIs. Matt Olson, 238, 11 homers, 32 RBIs. He just came off the DL. Matt Chapman, 10 homers, 29 RBIs, hitting only 210. LaCroix has been catching fire, though, hitting 239 now. Four homers, 14 RBIs. No power stats, but these guys average up. It was like 150, so. Trace Thompson, 257, not too bad. And then you know Escobar looks like a gold mine of a free agent sign. Average over 301. 22 RBIs. Might have to consider moving him up in the lineup, but he's hitting so well in the 9 slot. I don't want to jinx anything. Matt Joyce hitting 267 off the bench and 45 at bats. Chad Pinder, 287, 6 homers and 100 at bats. He's playing pretty well. Probably going to earn him some more starts here in the second half of the season. Book Powell hitting 269. Bruce Maxwell, 232. 1 homer, 4 RBIs. And then Kana. 262, 3 homers, and 84 at bats. So, on to the uh, news I was talking about to make room for Pagan to come off. Santiago Casillo, we wanted to send him down. He was out of minor league options. So, I figured let's try to get something for him. So, we went ahead and traded him to the Cincinnati Reds for one of their prospects. Not a very good prospect, Nick Longy. 22 year old, C potential, 55 overall. Probably never even going to see higher than double A, but. We do clear about a million dollars off our cap. And, like I said, made a spot for Pagan to come back to the rotation. And we pick up an extra bat. You never know. So I thought that was a pretty good deal for us. Uh, taking a look at Longy, like I said, C potential, 55 overall. He can also play the outfield. So, I mean, we'll see what happens. Not a very big guy. He is a righty, throws left, pull hitter. Like I said, probably will never make it past double A, but, you know, there's really no, it was a win-win for us in that deal. So we went ahead and pulled the trigger on that. That's going to do it for today's video, guys. If you want to enjoy it, please leave a like down below. Be sure to subscribe for more Oakland A's franchise. Next time we'll be taking on Carlos Carrasco and the first place Cleveland Indians. Let me know down in the comments your thoughts on the first trade of this series. Until next time, guys, thanks for watching. As always, peace.